Hey guys, I want to make this quick video in regard to the ESC or the, I'm sorry, the Esheen Racer 250 and the stock uh, Simon K ESCs it comes with, which are obviously in the arms here. I know a lot of people uh, flash these to BL Heli and I do not doubt that it's better. Uh, I have not done that yet just because I don't feel like taking the ESCs apart. I'm sure I will at some point. Um, one thing that really tripped me up one time was I was trying to calibrate the ESCs and I just waited a little bit too long and I entered into programming mode unknowingly. Uh, so I've kind of been infatuated with that ever since trying to, I don't know about infatuated, that's probably not a good word, but it's been my mission to understand all the settings. So I was lucky enough to find this document, um, which I make a link below to it, um, or in this post, and this has all the settings. One of the things I've been playing around with is just some of these settings. You can see the um, the dark, bold ones are the defaults. And I wanted to share my settings because I found they, for two things here, control frequency and timing mode. I don't know what the defaults are for other people's because I don't know what my defaults were when I bought my racer because I had them all messed up. It was one night of my life trying to figure this out. I thought I broke my ESC somehow, and here I just reprogrammed them unknowingly. But um, with this, there's videos on how to reprogram. It's basically the beeping sequence after you pass through the calibration part of it if you wait too long. And uh, I found uh, instead of medium-high or medium, if you set them at medium-high, you'll get a little bit more RPMs out of your... Um, motors from at least what it sounds like when you know I'm ramping it up and down in beta flight and this is the more important one so today I set my control frequency back to 8 kilohertz instead of 22 I had it initially at 22 just because it was a bigger number thought it might be better and that was actually in the reference video to set it to 22 when I put it back to 8 today and tried to hover the, it would the, the racer was wobbling all around you know like this it just couldn't get an accurate hover. Almost like symptoms like you need to increase the P term in the in the PIDs. But um, you know, obviously that had an effect. So I guess the reason I'm posting this is if other people should maybe if you can't get your racer to fly nice, um, I don't know what the default is set for this control frequency, but 22 kilohertz uh, works much better. Um, and then uh, you know I have it set to low. I don't want it to just drop out of the sky or or cut the motor and then those are the the last couple settings here the if it gets to low frequency cut uh, does it do a soft cut or or just turn off so that's a you could go either way on that you could set this um, it's really up to you I also uh, messed around with setting the uh, start force to 1 instead of 0.75 uh, I changed it back. It just seemed a little, just the noise the motors gave when it had that higher start. It basically was a higher starting force. Maybe that's just as a result of a higher starting force. That's how they sound, but it seemed more abrasive, and I really wasn't having issues before, so I, I changed that back to the default 0.75. But again, just really this mid-high um, or for your motor timing seems to, to work better. I didn't even try high. And then the control frequency, I would definitely make sure you have that set to uh, 22 kilohertz, unless other experts say I'm wrong. But it, for my racer, I just had the stock beta flight PIDs and all the stock beta flight uh, settings that when you flash to beta flight 3.0. And with these ESC settings, this thing flies pretty good, it's pretty stable. Um, and pretty predictable how it flies. It punches good and everything. So um, that was it. Thanks.